hey what is up guys welcome to another video i hope that you are all having an amazing day so for today i am going to show you how i flatten out my led mouse pad so yeah so recently i realized that a lot of people seem to have a hard time flattening their led mouse pad especially by using this method as shown so if you're one of those people that have tried placing heavy objects like books all over it or maybe tried other people's advice by steaming all over but it still wasn't able to flatten out your mouse pad maybe this method that i'm about to show you might help so my mouse pad right here has been around for almost two years now and I have been using this technique every time it gets deformed, whenever I wash it, and hang it out to dry. So this is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after doing the steps that I'm about to show you. I mean, hopefully it will work, and yeah, just follow along. So um, if the heavy books method didn't work, I would proceed to take off the case where the USB connects to power up the LED light of the mouse pad. All you have to do is just remove the sticker of the uh, LED controller and remove the screws one by one, like so. So after removing the screws and the case, as you can see right here, you can see the plastic that touches the LED and in turn lights up the surroundings of the mouse pad. So over time, if you're like me that likes to wash the mouse pad, the pad would end up stretching or compressing and would cause the plastic around it to move causing the deformation of the pad. So um, what I would do after removing the LED is try to adjust the plastic that's surrounding the pad. I'd pull it in or maybe pull it out, whichever works best, and I would do it on both sides and make sure it's evened out because if it's not, the deformity would still be there. All you have to do is just be patient and don't rush it because like sometimes it would take a minute or sometimes it would even take longer than 10. So just keep on playing around with it and wish for the best. So as you can see right here, I have successfully flattened it out. And it actually took me around 10 minutes or so to finish it. And then once you've finished flattening it out, try to put back the LED and see if the plastic is touching it to make sure that the surrounding of the pad would light up. So um, this right here is an example where the plastic is now longer than what it's intended to be, which is the main reason why the mouse pad is deformed. But that does not matter at all because all that's important is that the mouse pad is flattened out. All I have to do next is just cut the excess plastic, but make sure that it still fits right and touches the LED, because if it doesn't, well, the whole pad won't really light up as it should be. Alright, so after cutting that piece of plastic right there, what I'm going to do next is I am going to assemble it back together and try to maintain the form being flat. And then if all is well, all I have to do next is just screw it back into place. And then, yeah, that's it. So uh, yeah, that is it guys for today's video. I hope you were able to follow along and flatten out your mouse pad. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you for watching. As always, don't hate, appreciate. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.